All right, now we're over on the EC side on Westcott Nation. And as the weather's breaking, all things considered with our uh, national emergency, it's exciting to get back out and do some painting. This is a little bit of a graffiti buster project I just did over the past couple days with my own materials. But um, one of the projects that Crystal City Creative Spaces is taking on is uh, an initiative that I started three years ago called 315 Alive. And we have uh, done about a dozen murals, some permanent, some temporary around the city. We were sheltered by a 501c3, but this year we're looking to turn 315 Alive into a professional mural making company. So we can hire local artists, street artists, painters, muralists, graffiti artists um, to get paid to do indoor and outdoor murals. So let's get a little distance on that. Just a few days ago, that wall was covered in just throw ups and tags. And uh, we've got permission from the property owner to, to mural this entire wall. Uh, as a matter of fact, last year we presented a concept called Westcott Walls as a beta project for neighborhood and business district beautification. And so we've got preliminary permissions from most of the property owners up here. As you can see, there's a lot of blank walls. That's Munjed's and Mom's Diner, and we've got permission to do three walls there. You can kind of see my old Boom Babies mural in the background on, of all things, Boom Babies. And that's about 16 years old now. And um, the idea is that we've got about 40 walls here in Westcott to paint. And Golden Paints, thank you Golden Paints, has come on board as a major sponsor. And we're looking to partner with the city and some other not-for-profits so we can sort of formalize our program this spring and summer. So again, if uh, you're an artist, if you're a creative, if you support the arts, if you want to get out and do exciting things, uh, in addition to Spark and the new venue that we're opening on East Fayette, in addition to Edible, the new uh, sort of culinary arts facility that we'll be opening this spring, uh, in addition to the Fringe Factory, uh, the Circus Arts Academy and Theater Academy that we're opening on the west side, uh, we of course have 315 Alive, which is a public arts initiative and we've got three, four, five months, weather permitting, to get out and continue to beautify our community. So uh, this is just another reason to stay in touch with Crystal City Creative Spaces. It's another reason to consider membership. It's a reason to consider partnering with what we're going to do. And, um, you know, there's a number of other projects that we have uh, sort of in the hopper, but with these first four, including the incorporation of Crystal City just a month ago, so in many ways five brand new projects to present to this community, uh, we've got our hands full. We've got about 40 people who have committed uh, to get involved with in the launch of Crystal City and these projects uh, sort of at the nascent stage. And, um, you know, there's, there's room for more. This is a multi-member LLC uh, with a cooperative set of bylaws. So one member, one vote. Um, we're lowering the bar barrier of entry to anybody and everybody that can participate. And so, yeah, I hope after seeing some of these videos and checking in on our crowdfund and, and our Facebook page and all that fun stuff, uh, you join us. 2020 is gonna be a special year. Thanks to everybody.